And of course, as always, brought to you by W. Save ten percent off. I put in coupon code Ron three two two. All right at W dot GG. More or less, what it looks like they got different flavors. It's my favorite one, the dragon fruit lemonade one, or as they call it, dragonade. It's my favorite one to go with. It works. My favorite thing about it, of course, the vitamin B complex. It gets you real amped up in energy. So either you're doing daytime, nighttime work, or you're streaming. Gets the job done. You won't have to go worry about going blah, 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 or any of that. All right. Once again, w.gg, coupon code ROM322, and you get 10% off. With that said, let's get started. <laughs> yep. As you can see, we're right at the beginning. Chapter 1, Disturbing the Peace. Dude, damn, we're starting at a detention cell. Sweet Jesus. Fresh in the aftermath of Persona 4 Golden. Not for nothing, but imagine prison look this comfortable. <laughs> I think the inmates would be a lot less hostile. Oh, he got yo. That's some. That's it, yo. That's some good ass food, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He has some miso soup, some water, cucumber, sukemono. One slice of two. Yo, probably better than what people eat in prison in the U.S. I'm just saying. Uh, I don't know about the beef tongue, bro. That, that, that's kind of weird. Hurry up and eat! Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yep, this is definitely the aftermath of Persona 4 Golden. As for what happened there, this game may or may not explain it, but if you haven't played Persona 4 Golden... What are you waiting for? Go get it. It's on PlayStation. It's on Xbox. On Switch. Even PC Master Race, if you will. Just go for it. That's a good story. And boy, the build up to this month. It's good. <laughs> I forgot how funny this was. Having trouble with the supernatural cause of death being thrown into a television. Imagine throwing people in the TV is all what's required to kill people. I'm not saying you should do that. I'm just saying, you know how crazy that would be? Honestly, within the U.S. system, a lot of people end up in psych wards, probably in an asylum, or just thrown right back out in the street. I don't know. At the time, Matt looked mad comfy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Number 82, interrogation. Some more things. Check them. These are the three pieces of evidence. Not 
None of them are related to the case. I mean, I've said this many times before, but I've already told you everything. Shut up. No back talk. Just check them all. Ain't that something? He's not lying because he's busted. And unlike some people here in the US, he's lost all incentive to lie. So he's just telling the truth. He's singing like a damn canary. And when the police can't even put the case together, even though everything's laid bare in front of them and in very explicit detail, yeah, they ain't the perpetrator. It's the damn cops. They're incompetent. This is the kind of stuff that actually makes Adachi very resentful about human society and everything. And again, if you play Persona 4 Golden, you, you'll see what I mean. Seriously, between Adachi and Dojima, is anyone at Inaba PD not a dumbass? Dojima's son? Ryotaro Dojima. You know him real well. Rumor has it his position at the station's shaky because of you. A real cop wouldn't have the balls to show his face at the station if one of his men got sent up for murder. Sorry. So out of kindness, I told him during the investigation. I said, I'll make sure to dispose of your no good man. So don't worry about that. And what does that bastard do? He suddenly grabs me by the collar. I almost ended up having to submit a written apology. The heck? <laughs> Talk about a blunder. It ain't nothing to laugh about. What do you think he said, huh? He can settle matters for himself without me asking you to do it. <laughs> what a bunch of shit to say about a killer. I mean, Dojima ain't wrong, bro. You're just not doing your job. You've been a police dick in the sticks that long. Your hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Dojima snuffed a few himself. That must be where his men learned it. <laughs> mm, I'm not sure about that. Um, con contrary to what he's saying, Dojima's always a, a straight arrow. Uh, very straight through and through by the books, you know. Except for when it came to. Adachi, kind of, he, he kind of light on Adachi, and Adachi kind of saw how far he can take it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny joke. Huh? Although, aren't you the one with the quick fist? I heard rumors about you when I was on active duty. You punched a suspect in the face during an investigation, got found out, and covered it up, right? What a hero! See? See? This detective ain't want to talk, for real. Like... And since then, you've made sure to only punch him in the gut, right? You sure know what you're doing, aiming to work at the Metropolitan PD. You little... I ain't taking that kind of lip from a goddamn killer! <sighs> oh, boy. If you don't want a good thrashing, then you better spill everything, you bastard. Hey, yo. <laughs> this is too meme-tastic. I wish I was making this up. Sir, you really shouldn't go any further. Shut up! 
You don't get anything out of scumbags like him without getting your hands dirty. Watch and learn. No, buddy. This is wrong. You know what? I'm, I'm going to give you a little son, folks. From watching a lot of Law and Order Special Victims Unit. I know. It's a, it's, a, it's a fictional show. Scenarios that may or may not reflect real things. But one of the things you do learn is that um, <clears throat> forced confessions will destroy a case. It'll toss it right out the window. And guess what happens? The uh, suspect walks free. Why? It's a forced confession, which means it was done under duress, meaning out of fear. And chances are, sometimes in these forced confessions, they may be lying. They may be just telling you what you want to hear just so you could get off their back and leave them alone. And then that way, open and shut. But in some cases, you'll find out that some of these forced confessions turn out to be, well, not the truth. And then the actual perpetrator is running rampant. In this case, he doesn't have to do anything. Adachi has not hidden a single thing at this point. He's got nothing to lose, nothing to gain either. He's just straight up saying everything. So it's like, come on. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, if this detective was in NYPD right now, his ass would be suspended, no gun or badge. You have to sit it out. That wasn't nice. <laughs> Isn't this against the criminal procedure code? Ah. Criminal procedure code, Article 319. Forced confessions gained through torture and intimidation are inadmissible as evidence. What I tell you, what I tell you, and Adachi knows this. Anything I tell you is invalid if you get your hands dirty. Didn't they teach you the basics in police academy? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he said police academy. Oh, but I get it. You're stuck in the boonies like this because you can't even get the criminal procedure code straight. <laughs> you little... Hit him again. I dare you. I dare you. You're going to get suspended for that one. Excuse me? <laughs> Whoa, wait, 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 wait. You must be Toru Adachi. I wish to speak with you. All right, I didn't expect that one. I'm sorry, but I must ask you to come with me. Enter the TV here. And to be clear, this is less a request than an order. Whoa, what are you doing? There'll be hell to pay for pointing your gun at a detainee. You really need to come. Ah, uh, yes. I'd forgotten we weren't alone. Get out of here. Huh? Wh what are you saying? I said get out. I don't wish to make matters worse. And you don't wish to die. Oh, okay. Camera's down. Ah, now you've done it. So, who are you? You'll find out when we meet. Enter the TV. You should still be able to do that. Alright, so at this point you realize that um, the whole entering and exiting the TV... It's not quite finished. But this also explains why Teddy's still roaming around. like old times.
When I exited the TV, I found myself in a classroom. Seriously, I can't believe I'm called in here all of a sudden. I'm not even a cop anymore. Honestly, I'd rather be in prison. Well, I guess I'll go. I don't think anything like this would ever happen again. Isn't there something wrong with this world? Who knows what'll happen next? Without realizing it, look what you've done to me, Dojima-san. 